Assalamualaikum dear viewers. Hope you are doing well. I am Shobhi Madhav. Again here with another informative video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the separately excited DC motor on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the DC motor and the separately excited DC motor. A machine that converts the DC electrical power into the mechanical power can be called as the DC motor. Its operation is based on the principle that when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, the conductor experiences a mechanical force. When the terminals of the motor are connected to an external source of the DC supply, the field magnets are excited developing the alternate north and the south poles. Armature conductors carry the currents. All conductors under the north pole carry the currents in one direction while all the conductors under the south pole carry the currents in an opposite direction. Each armature conductor is carry the current and it is placed in a magnetic field. A mechanical force is acts on it. When the armature of a DC motor rotates under the influence of a driving torque, the armature conductors move through the magnetic field and hence EMF is induced in them as a generator. The induced EMF acts in opposite direction to the applied voltage V according to the Lenz's law. The direction of the induced EMF is such that it opposes the cause which is giving to produce it which is called as the back EMF or the counter EMF. The formula for calculating the back EMF in the DC motor is that the phi N Z P over 60A and it is always less than the applied voltage. The separately excited DC motor have the field coils similar to those of the shunt wound machine but the armature coils and the field coils are fed from the different sources of the DC supply and may have the different voltage ratings. In the separately excited DC motor, the armature current is equal to the line current and formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the separately excited DC motor is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the experiment of the separately excited DC motor on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, we have to implement this separately excited DC motor circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. A DC machine that converts the DC electrical power into the mechanical power so that can be called as the DC motor. Its operation is based on the principle that when current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, the conductor experiences a mechanical force. When the terminals of the DC motor are connected to the external source of the DC supply, the field magnets are excited developing the alternating north and the south poles. The armature conductors carry the current, all the conductors under the north pole carry the currents in a one direction while all other conductors under the south pole carry the currents in an opposite direction. Each armature conductor is carrying the current and it is placed in a magnetic field. A mechanical force acts on it. According to the Fleming's left hand rule, it is clear that the force on each conductor is tending to rotate the armature in an anti-clockwise direction. All these forces act together to produce a driving torque which sets armature rotating. When the armature of a DC motor rotates under the influence of the driving torque, the armature conductors move through a magnetic field and hence EMF is induced in them as in generator. The induced EMF acts in opposite direction to the applied voltage V according to the Lenz's law. The direction of the induced EMF is such that it opposes the cause which is giving to produces which is called as the back EMF or the counter EMF in the case of the DC motor. The back EMF is equal to the phi and ZP over 60A and it is always less than the applied voltage V. This is a circuit diagram of the separately excited DC motor. The armature coils of the separately excited DC motor are fed from the DC supply as you can see in this figure. And the field coils of the separately excited DC motors are to be fed from the external source of the DC supply as shown in this figure. These motors have the field coils similar to those of the shunt wound machine but the armature coils and the field coils are fed from the different supply sources and may have the different voltage ratings. In the case of the separately excited DC motor, the armature current is equal to the line current. The power drawn from the main supply is equal to the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current which is equal to that the armature current in case of the separately excited DC motor. So dear viewers, we have to implement the separately excited DC motor circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. Go to the power library. We need DC voltage source. We need ground. We need DC machine. 
we need bus selector we need gain block we need product block we need display we need constant block so this is a separately excited dc motor so this is a separately excited dc motor that converts the dc electrical power into the mechanical power so connect the armature terminal with the dc supply in the case of the separately excited dc motor so this is a separately excited dc motor connect the field winding with the external dc supply source okay so if you want to measure the supply voltage in the case of the separately excited dc motor so connect the voltmeter in parallel across the dc supply which is connected with the armature terminals and this display will give us the value of the supply voltage so connect the measurement port of the separately excited dc motor with the bus selector go to the bus selector properties select speed wm radian per second select armature current select field current apply okay so this is a separately excited dc motor so we have selected the mechanical input as a torque load okay so from the output of this bus selector we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in the case of the separately excited dc motor is in the terms of the radian per second so if you want to convert the value of the speed from the radian per second into the rpm so the function of this gain block is to convert the value of the speed from radian per second into the revolution per minute and this display will give us the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and this display will give us the value of the armature current in the case of the separately excited dc motor so in the case of the separately excited dc motor the armature current is equal to the supply current and this display will give us the value of the field current in the case of the separately excited dc motor if so here the function of this product block is to give us the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the separately excited dc motor so the formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the separately excited dc motor is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current so here the line current and the armature current are the same one in the case of the separately excited dc motor so connect the one input of the product block with the voltmeter and connect the second input of the product block with the armature current and here armature current is equal to the line current so from the output of this product block we will get the value of the power drawn from the main supply so we are giving the 240 volts dc to the armature terminals of the separately excited dc motor and we are giving the 150 volts dc to the field winding of the separately excited dc motor and we are giving the load torque is 10 newton meter so here in the case of the separately excited dc motor we are obtaining the mechanical power as a output which is in terms of the speed radian per second so if we want to convert the radian per second into the rpm so one radian per second is equal to the 9.55 rpm apply okay so now our circuit is ready for the simulation run the simulation and observe the results of the different parameters like the speed in terms of the rpm the armature current the field current the supply voltage and the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the separately excited dc motor run the simulation so here the speed in terms of the rpm is 1398 rpm and the armature current in the case of the separately excited dc motor is 5.58 ampere and here the armature current and the line current both are the same one the field current in the case of the separately excited dc motor is 1 ampere and we are giving the 240 volts dc supply voltage to the armature terminals of the separately excited dc motor so this is the power drawn from the main supply which is the 1339 watts 
So here, the formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So 240 volt, it is supply voltage and the line current is the 5.58 ampere. So again, we are getting the same power, which is the 1339 watts, which is to be power drawn from the main supply in the case of the separately excited DC motor. So dear viewers, this was the experiment of the separately excited DC motor that we have done on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, this was the experiment regarding the separately excited DC motor that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the different parameters like the armature current, the shunt field current, the line current, the supply voltage and the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the separately excited DC motor. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last, do subscribe my YouTube channel Shri Madhaya for more informative videos related to the electrical machines, MATLAB simulation and the electrical engineering area. Thank you.